Welcome everybody to this week's The Agna Hutru Lady Facebook live stream Zoom talk. If you would like to participate, I will post the link now. We're waiting for Sri Charles to come on so we can finish up with our part two. And it's, not, and it's really going to be so many parts. It's going to be a part two, three, four, five, and six because the Cosmic Clinic, as we started talking about that last week, is so much stuff going on. Um, that we can't possibly do it in one um, Zoom Zoom talk. So let me post a link now. Um, I'm sure Charles is getting set up now, but I want to make sure that I start at time um, this week. Last week we had technical difficulties. So welcome. Thank you so much. And um, the Agna Hotel Lady, I'll be doing weekly Zoom talks every Saturday, 7 to p.m. 7 to p.m. Eastern time. So I'm going to post a link. If you uh, don't want to show your face, you can just call in, let me know, but I'm going to give you the Zoom meeting. If you'd like to come in, ask any questions of me and, of course, my guest co-host um, this week again. Well, we're really going to just have a conversation this week, and um, but I wanted to have, have it more casual so people will feel free to ask questions and um, for anything that's going on in your day-to-day -day life. So as you can see, and um, I'm still making sure that the camera is all ready, you can see this is a, a fire that we have going into, it's a home of fire. And so for those of you that are new that don't know who I am, I'm Dee Domes, also known as the Agna Hochul Lady, a name that Sri Charles gave me. Um, and this is a home of fire. And so I teach the ancient Ayurvedic wisdom of Agnihotra. Agnihotra is an Ayurvedic fire practice that's done in a proper pyramid and it's done at sunrise and sunset. And it's a way to purify the atmosphere, purify yourself and to um, deal with the ravages of pollution. And pollution can come in many forms, not just in forms of dealing with our tainted soil, our tainted food, our tainted water, but also fog pollution. Um, all these things are very pervasive in the society now, and agriculture is a way to, to purify. And so let me explain the process of agriculture. And before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and get started with uh, beginning home fire to give our blessing for today's Zoom talk and Facebook Live. Swaha, and so this is a rooting mantra. Um, and we do this anytime we uh, beginning of a meeting. Um, any important thing that we're doing, you can do this throughout the day. This is not agriculture. Agriculture is done at sunrise and sunset. And so what agriculture is, it taps into the energies and ethers that are present and strongest at sunrise and sunset. So in that morning time, you have that flood of energies, electricities, and the ethers. And when you, uh, we, we use cow dung, let me give you an example here. We use brown rice, which we take a little bit out right here. That's the brown rice. And then we also use ghee, which is unsalted butter that we boil. These are the ingredients, the basic ingredients. And so when we put these into the copper pyramid, then we chant a mantra exactly at sunrise. And so that is when we connect with those ethers and electricities, energies I was talking about, and there's a beautiful sound that cascades all over the earth and it reverberates through the universe. And this is when the healing takes place. Agnihotra has been scientifically proven to um, eradicate um, pathogenic bacteria, purifies water, it's excellent for the soil. Um, very healing for the soil. Uh, a lot of people use the ash, the resultant um, product of this, to um, do what's called homo farming. Let me show you the ash. This is um, 
Ashen or host to Ashen, for those who have seen my gardening pictures and videos, this is what I use to grow things naturally. It incre increases agriculture ash, which is what we use for um, home farming. It is actually excellent for the nutrients to be absorbed better in the soil. The worms are happy when they get into soil that's been saturated with the ash and the plants have a, a higher um, yield and it cuts your harvest time. So this is what I'm using. Um, and then throughout the day, I'm doing uh, the homifiers to pump up the effects of the agriculture that we do at sunrise and at sunset. So at sunset, we repeat the same process. When These are when um, the energies are receding. That flood that I was talking, talking to you about in the morning, it recedes in the evening time. And that's part of the, the whole rhythm, the circadian rhythm of nature. We're in tune with the cycles of nature. And of course, I'm sure you all are familiar with birds um, get up in the morning time and they make their song or when um, and the songs are so beautiful, when bears hibernate, you know, uh, we have our, our moon cycle, your new moon cycle. Nature is built upon a system of cycles, okay? And anytime that you get away from the cycle, that's when you find that there's an imbalance. And um, I believe Sri Charles is joining. Sri Charles, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, so Sri Charles has joined us, everyone. He just joined us to the phone. But so I'm going to continue the conversation of what we were talking about. I just want to explain. Justin? Justin? Okay, we can hear you. <laughs> Make sure you. That's <laughs> good. Okay. I'm calling my, tech, no, my technician here. Oh, you take. <laughs> He's talking to his younger son, Justin. So, anyway, everyone, if you're just joining, Sri Charles just um, just joined us. And if you are joining us on Facebook um, Live, um, feel free to share. Actually, let me share the video now on our pages. So, as an introduction, Sri Charles is my teacher. And he is the founder of Shanti Bill Institute and Hill the Atmosphere Association. And I've been his student for about um, nine years. And I've run, and I'm the caretaker of Shanti Atlanta in Conyers. So I'm the, the Atlanta campus um, of Shanti Bill Institute. And we teach the Ayurvedic wisdom, the practice of Agnihotra. And if you're just joining me, I just explained what agriculture was, which is the basis of all of our teachings and what I've been taught by Sri Charles. So um, what we talked about last week for anyone that um, is tuning in is we talked about the Cosmic Clinic. And Sri Charles um, gave an excellent uh, explanation of what happened when you sit quiet at 10 o'clock, at 12 o'clock and 3 p.m. And for those of us that are busy, we can take a couple of minutes to sit down and be quiet. You can say a small meditation to yourself at 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock and 3, 3 o'clock. And at those times at 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock and 3 o'clock, the Cosmic Clinic is open, it's always open. But these are the times in which your immune system gets that boost. So we've been doing a lot of talks um, on the Agna Hotel Ladies Show, talking about ways in which you can protect against COVID-19 and other things too. So we, there is a built-in system called the Cosmic Clinic. That's what Sri Charles is the name um, the spirit gave him for us to be able to access the immune system and boost it up as well as you do things like eat a clean diet you exercise you do yoga and you do mudra so we're going to just um go further into detail at what happens at these times that the cosmic clinic is open so consider Sri Charles like the doctor of the cosmic clinic and i'm the nurse so anyone can get an appointment you know, it's not like trying to call your regular doctor. 
<laughs> you know, trying to make an appointment, the Cosmic Clinic is always open. So at these times, what you can do, I talked about earlier about Agnihotra. Um, so the other fires that you can do, the, the bump up the effects of Agnihotra, you can do a fire at 10 o'clock, at 12 o'clock, and at 3 o'clock. So I'm going to jump in, Sri Charles, um, while we continue the conversation, because I don't want to do all the talking. So jump in there, please, and okay. add any, any of your insights and wisdom um, as we continue this um, q and A. I'm going to just turn over to Sri Charles so we can go ahead and continue the conversation for you all that just join us here on the Agna Hochi Lady um, Zoom Q&A and Facebook Live. Um, we are continuing. This is part two of the cosmic clinic and we're talking about building your immune system we're talking about building yourself full of love and empowering yourself during these quarantine times and um fortifying your body and your spirit with the things that you can use to have this supercharged immune system so um if you want to do any recap and continue the conversation about the cosmic clinic then we we'll turn it over to you Sri charles Greetings to everyone, and uh, we're all glad to be here. And this, and specifically at this time, uh, we can talk about the different things that are happening now and around the world, but I am here to tell you that this is a very, very special time. This time has been talked about forever. It's been talked about this time's coming. Now, now that these times are here, what do you do? You can always go to the hospital or to the regular clinic because they do not always have the answer. Most of the time when you get the answers from the hospital and the clinic, they come up with some, some vaccine or something. And it was very interesting that I heard from Dr. Fauci the other day. And what he said is that, that you may as well get used to having this virus around because it's not going anywhere. Mm. He said you don't see it going anywhere. There will be some vaccine, says he, some vaccine, but it will not cure it. I hear to tell you that certain things have been placed in the cosmos by certain divine ones, if we use that terminology, it will cure it. And one thing is done, it's come to this cosmic clinic which we have introduced to you. At certain times of the day, certain powers come to this planet. And one of the most powerful times in the day is three o'clock in the morning. And most people don't like to get up early at three o'clock in the morning. But I will tell you, you wake up that time anyway. You don't get up, you turn over. You don't want to get up that time. But if you get up and you sit up, then your immune system get a tremendous boost that time of day. You mm. have nothing to do with it. You have nothing to do with it. Certain things happen to your body automatically, whether you have any voluntary motion or not. It will take place with your body. Three o'clock in the morning is a powerful time. Then. Because of the many avatars that are watching this planet, at 5 o'clock in the morning, certain energies are sent to the planet. And it's for all human beings. You are human beings. But you don't know how to operate the best vehicle in the entire universe. And it's your body. With your body, there are certain things that happen to it, certain times of the day. Five o'clock in the morning, tremendous power is sent to this planet. If you are sitting up erect, so be it. I will not tell you you have to sit five minutes, ten minutes, da 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 da. No. All you have to do is be awake. Sit up for your minute or two minutes, go back to sleep. We don't care. You still get your charge. That is what's happening to the planet now. Everything on the planet is going to another level. All hidden mechanisms are going to another level. Those people that they are called the handicapped people, the poor people, the colored people, all these different people, tremendous blessings are given to you. 
All you have to do is just set up. You want to go to the clinic? The clinic open at those magnificent times. It's a magnificent time. What time is it? Oh, five o'clock is a good time. You see? Sunrise is a good time, wherever you are. 10 o'clock is a tremendous time. 12 noon is a power time. 3 p.m. is a good time. Sunset is a good time. You can walk, you can drop in the clinic any time of day at those exactly times. If you need appointment, no appointment needed. You got your own appointment. I am here to tell you that the cosmos is one of the most secret yet and still most public things that are connected with you. I don't care who you are, you got to be. You see, that what is called the life energy supply come from the cosmos and it keeps you going. If you interfere with that, you have major problems. Today, most people that are sick today is because that has been interfered with. This tremendous virus that you have affected you and affecting the energy that comes from the cosmos. Learn how to protect yourself. At those particular times, if you are sitting in the clinic, you will get certain energy. Certain things will come to you. Certain healing will come to you. <clears throat> just by, excuse me, just by being at that time. The fire that this Agni Ojalady does, infinite special fire is done at exactly those times. That is what I call the inoculation. That is what I call the inoculation. What happens at that time? If you do the fire like she says at those times, then that is a boost, a shot. It takes that healing to another level very quickly. Very quickly. You can feel the healing at these times anyway. But if this fire, what she does, is done at that time, it will go to a whole nother level of healing. We have heard reports from most ladies and most men, most children, everyone that does this fire. They have had no problem with this virus. None. There's none recorded with this virus. None. If they do this fire, then for those people that are of color, oh blessed people you are of color, this message has been given for you to show the world what it means to love. What it means to love. It has nothing to do with that what you call the financial stuff. It ain't about that. It's about understanding who you are as a human being. You don't know who you are. You have the best vehicle, the baddest vehicle, vehicle in the whole cosmos. But yet and still, you know it not. If you choose to know something, learn about thyself. Learn who you are beyond this physical being. There's more to you than that. If I was to cut you open, do surgery or whatever, I cannot find your consciousness, yet it still is still there. But you can find your own consciousness just by being open at those times of the day. The average person breathes about 2,100 gallons of air a day. 2,100 gallons of air a day. If that air is polluted, what do you think it will do to your mind? Your mind will get polluted. But yet and still, if you sit at these times at the cosmic clinic, then it will not pollute your mind. You can see clearly. You will make sure you make the right decision. The most powerful things in the universe is the karma. Karma. When your head is clear, you create less karma. 
When your head is clear, you create less karma. So you don't have that which come back at you a little bit less. It was once said that if a person knew what his or her karma was and what it does for them, you wouldn't need that what we call prisons. You are already in the prison. The prison that you have is called karma. I will tell you this, whatever you do, it will come back to you. You cannot escape it. You can't escape time, you can't escape karma. You will try to escape time, oh, I think you will try. Some people try to freeze their body. That's not escaping time. <laughs> They've tried many things to be time, but you can't do it. You made a loan. You made a loan. You borrowed from the earth to create your body. And when that loan is up, you got to get the body up. It's got to go back to the earth. That's simple enough. We always try to cheat somebody without even thinking we're trying to cheat. Instead of learning how to live with it mm. and understand it. So please, 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 if you have any question, please ask this sister, I can hold the lady, I tell you, and then ask questions. Yes. Ask questions. The biggest thing before you now is this virus. But I tell you, like someone said earlier, about the hurricanes lined up, one after another, one after another. So do our diseases and viruses. This will not be the only one. They have already many more lined up that they will not tell you about. But what you need to do is strengthen your immune system. So learning how to do this thing from 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and 3 o'clock, I know the sister says that because for sure you should be up about that time, okay? But I will look for that. The earlier you get up, the better. The more power comes to the planet and you as a human being. At exactly the time the, the sunrise and sunset, that's tremendous energy being given to the planet. Tremendous energy. So, a lot of healing takes place at that time. We have certain herbs and flowers and things that just come to wake you. If you go outside or you stand on your porch and just smell the earth, just smell it. You'll feel this tremendous healing. You'll know the mother like you've never known her before. How much did it cost? <laughs> you get up, <laughs> not be so lazy. <laughs> See, don't be so lazy. Just get up and stick your head outside the door and feel that. I am coming from this place of what you say, the cosmic clinic. I'm telling you all these things are given to you from the cosmos, yet you know them not. There's nothing that we offer for you, or want from you, as you say. Nothing we want from you. You are a human being. You are a human being. Do you understand what it means to be a human being? Mm. Most folks don't. They don't understand what it means to be a human being. Do you know how this body works? You know everything that it does for you? Just because you're human. If you are made in the image, as it said most awfully, do you know what that means? Does it mean look in the mirror and see that, that I'm made in the image? Everybody doesn't look the same when they look in the mirror. You see? So there's more to that. You see? If you as a human being can sit down and just listen. Look at all the thousands of thoughts. Thousands. Thousands of thoughts that come across your mind a day. Mm. A day. Can you deal with that? Learn how to pay attention. Learn how to preserve your mind. And at those particular times, three o'clock is a power time. Five o'clock, and the avatar sends great, great power to the planet. You know what an avatar is? Not really. 
but you can. You see, all you have to do is just listen. Then at five o'clock, after this five o'clock, then exactly the time, the sunrise, just be still. If you can do this, Agni Hoja, that is great. If you don't want to do that, just sit and be still. At 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock noon, the energy has changed now because now the sun has moved. Every time the sun moves, the energy changes as it comes to the planet. Various times to the day, when the energy changes, the nostrils open up. You may start out inhaling through your left nostrils and exhale into the right. Then certain times of the day, it changes. It switches over. When that switch is over, what does it do to you? You see? And even more so, cosmic, cosmic cleaning. And you are inhaling to the right nostril, and your spouse is inhaling to the right nostril, what does it do to your relationship? If you are inhaling to the right nostril, and your spouse is inhaling to the left nostril, what does it do to your relationship? Sometimes you'll be arguing and fussing and fighting about that, and you don't know it's because of the method of your breathing. Mm -hmm. I can't stand him. I can't stand her. Yeah, because you're breathing at the wrong side. <laughs> to the wrong side. You need to switch sides with her. And watch how you love each other. This is cosmic science. It's the cosmic stuff. These changes take places with the body anyway. So I hear uh, just to say this and to share with you, you know, it is time for us to listen. As you sit and listen at these magnificent times that we have shared with you, tremendous power, tremendous understanding come. And this time is that we share with you, they don't care about your race, your race, they don't care what color you are or anything. Only thing it says, you are a human being. And these things you need to know and these experiences you need to have so you go far beyond that and what people say. So I hope we have shared something with you this day, especially about the nostrils and relationships, that kind of stuff like that. And we hope to talk to you soon. Most important, I will say unto you, learn a power mudra. Okay. Power mudra is, can you see? Power mudra is to put in the thumb, put a little finger like this, you know, like this. A little finger and the ring finger. Put the thumb that way, like that. You see? And let those two fingers be like that. You will try to do that 15 minutes a day. If you can do that 15 minutes twice a day or half an hour, then you will find out that tremendous things will begin to happen in your life. If you can do that, you see, you take these two fingers, and put it together and hold it like that. And try to do that for 15 minutes, twice a day. You are at home. <laughs> you don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> so you can sit and do that for 30 minutes. <laughs> I can do that for 30 minutes or 15 minutes in the morning or lazy like some more and do 15 minutes. So you come to the clinic and you sit and you can do that at the clinic and watch how it changes your life. Okay? okay. That is a small tidbit that we are giving you this time. We hope you can enjoy it and enjoy your day behind you. Thank you very much. Hong Shui. Hong Shui. Okay, so I'm going to jump in. We do have um, um, about 25 more minutes left. So um, like I said, we were going to touch on mudra. So um, this, like you said, this is the power mudra. So anyone that's just joining us, this is our part of our talk, talking about the cosmic clinic. And so for those of us that, you know, do this when we're doing yoga or meditation, you don't have to do that during meditation. You can sit and just do it without doing your meditation. So 
in this talk about, um, we were talking about, of course, the cosmic clinic and what happens to you, the, the person, um, when you tap into the cosmic clinic, as well as what happens to the earth and to your body when you do Agnihotra. So mudras, as you know, they're movements you do with your hands and your fingers. And so let's just talk about that. You have five fingers. And each of the fingers, they represent the five basic elements. And so for those of you that are not familiar with the five basic elements, so of course, it's earth, land, fire, water, and the ether. So each of the fingers corresponds with the um, five elements. And so through your fingers, you have more than 4,000 um, nerves here that spread throughout your body. And so when you're doing, let's just say the power mudra, you're activating these, um, the nerves, these way to heal your body. When there's imbalances, mudras are a way to balance your body, okay? Because your nerves go throughout your entire body, but you have more than 4,000 in your fingertips. So there are various um, mudras to address various things that go on with your body. So like, for instance, like the power mudra, also called the prana mudra, P-R-A-N-A, -A, has to do with the life force, the life force that runs throughout your body. And so it's good for activating the immune system. It's good for your blood vessels. It's good for fatigue. It is good for even dealing with different eye issues. It's good for everything, okay? And that's why Sri Charles was saying, if you could do this twice a day for 15 minutes, I mean, this is wonderful. Um, Earlier today, I had Joe Liz and their daughter Savannah come in. And, you know, you can teach this to, to your children. She's seven and was very happy to try <laughs> this prana mudra. So the power mudra, it is good for everything, okay? And so even, let's say you're doing your Agna Hocha or you're up at 3 o'clock in the morning time, like Sri Charles said, or up at 5 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, you can just sit still and do the power mudra. So for those who are just tuned in, we're talking about mudras, which is a, a ancient scientific system to bring about and restore balance in the body. So once again, five fingers represents the five basic elements. And remember, the elements are within your body. Every single human being has the five basic elements, elements within them, which are earth, wind, fire, <coughs> water, and the ethers. And the entire earth, of course, has the five basic elements. And so that is the science behind mudras. So you take these fingers, your thumb, you press it to your index, and your ring finger. And then, well, not the index, I'm sorry, your little finger and your ring finger press to your thumb. And then your index and your middle finger are sticking out. So this is what it looks like from the front from this side, there you go. So that's, I just wanted to really explain that because people may hear the word mudra and or people are talking about this, but you know, we want to explain to you the science of all the things that we're talking about. And so all of these things are connected to, like I said, fortifying your immune system. And so for any of you all, that are watching or you're watching the replay, please share this with everyone. If you're homeschooling or planning to homeschool, share this with your children. You can share this with people that you want to um, show their other ways in which to deal with being healthy. They don't have to deal with uh, taking a pill. You know, these pills that, you know, the vaccines they're trying to push on everyone. I mean, we don't, I mean, what kind of testing are they doing, okay? What are they really doing? You know, can you trust any of these things? However, you are a powerful being. You can trust yourself. You can trust your, the wisdom that is stored in each and every one of your cells. Your DNA has all the answers for you to activate your immune system if you're in balance of nature. And so if anyone has any questions you'd like to join, I'm going to pause here. I do have the link in uh, for those of you all that are not viewing it from my Facebook page. My Facebook page is D-Dones, D-E-E-D-O-A-N-E-S, because I didn't have time to copy and paste this to all the pages. 
So if you want to go come to my um, directly to my Facebook page, the Zoom link is on the page, and I can't. This is too long of a URL for me to repeat it. But if you come to D Jones page, or to Shanti Atlanta page, or to Shanti Villas page, you'll be able to see the link, so you can join us. And you don't have to show your face. You can just um, join us if you want to ask questions. But I'm not able to. Um, answer questions live on Facebook live I like to personally interact and that's why every week Saturday every Saturday from 7 to 8 Eastern Standard Time the Agna Hotel lady I will be here to answer these questions about the cosmic clinic like I said the cosmic clinic is always open and it's available to you there's lots of information that I have to share and I want you to share this information with your entire family and all your friends too. So I'm gonna give a couple seconds here in case somebody was trying to look up the link to join us. I didn't really promote this the day before like I normally do. We got caught up doing some stuff, so I don't I don't think I even posted up the fly or anything. So um, but I'll be here every day, every Saturday from seven to eight p.m. <laughs> Did you want to add anything else, Free Charles? I think I should say some other things, I think. One thing in particular, know and understand that you, as a human being, you are the most powerful, powerful entity in the universe. And you have to understand that. And there is nothing, nothing you can't do. You have no limits. Your limitation is the one that you put on yourself. You have no limits. You have to understand what it means to live. You have to understand what it means to be a human. And you have to understand the limitations that are placed upon you because of the system that you live in. It is all about the system, but it's not about you as a human being. No matter what color you are, you see, no matter what race you are in, what gender you are, it does not matter. All you have to do is sit down at those times that we have suggested to you and watch all this wonderful, wonderful information come to you. It will come. All you have to do is sit and it will come to you. Then, as you sit, you just listen. This is what most people refer to as Satya Yuga. That is a wonderful term. It means the whole universe has rotated around the sun. It means that everything has lined up at the thousands and thousands and thousands of years. It means you have so much energy coming to you now, you don't know whether to fight or love. If you sit down, you will learn to love instead of fighting. When you learn to love, now you will line up and now things begin to open up like have never been before. That time of Satya Yuga, of this time, is a probably thousand of years of golden years golden years. All those things. You are the sons and daughters of a billionaire, trillionaire. What do you eat? You are them. But you have no knowledge of them. He has told you over and over again, you are just like me. What does that mean to you? Mm. What does that mean? If you sit down for those times, you understand what that means. You have no limitations. Because he doesn't have a limitation. Well, how can you have limitations if it's your father or your mother or whatever you want to call it? You can't. You see, I tell you this as a gift to the whole planet. These are magical times that most people don't even know about. Three o'clock, people have a meal with. 
Why the law not should have been made with? Why? Because the divine avatar, this word avatar, understand what it means. Divine power is coming to this planet from an avatar. He can give it to you at five o'clock, 10 o'clock, <laughs> morning at, at the hotel, you see? Noon time. Evening at the hotel. At 3 p.m. before that. These are powerful times that what we refer to as the cosmic clinic. I heard something wonderful for some person, wonderful today. They send me some message. We are so good and so glad to hear you finally talk after some time. So if anything we can do to help you share with people of color, all people, the world is waiting on you to give them this information and share with them this information. It is through you it will be seen. No one can love like you do. No one can forgive like you do. No one knows anything about mercy like you do. Mm. You have been through the test. You have been through the test. And it was yours. I said to some brothers the other day, I say, <laughs> we all were on celestial high together because you all got the nod. What is the nod? I don't know what the nod is. I say, yes, you do. You remember the nod? You look at a brother, you will see him, and you will nod, then you're okay, then you go about your business. What is the nod? You all knew about this celestial agreement before you got here. You knew about it. It's in your genes, it's in your DNA. Now is the time to sit and understand what that wonderful, wonderful message was that was given to you a long time ago. In the scheme of things now, so much has been tried to be pulled the wool over your eyes. Now you can say to them, and say to them, Father, I am no longer asleep. I have awakened from my slumber. I have awakened from the slumber. You can say this now earnestly, without promising or joining anything. You can say that. I am not asleep anymore. And the slumber, you see, the whole world is beginning to wake up. They are not asleep anymore. What is the next step? They always say, what do we do next? Go to sit, boo boo, sit. <laughs> And you say, you want to do something, do something. <laughs> so now this coronavirus is running crazy. Why? Because you can't sit. You got to do something. You got to run around. You got to do this. You got to do that. If you were sick, you would be surprised at what would come to you and what are the dynamic moves you should make. It's inside of you. It's inside of you. Can you sit? Can you sit? The challenge is for you to sit instead of running all around and jump around. You've been told not to sit. You've been trained not to be still. If you're trained not to be still because you can't stand what you see about yourself. Mm. Most people can't imagine to see themselves. I don't like this, I don't like that. But if you are the warrior that you are as a human being, you can see that. As a human being, you are the greatest warrior of the whole universe. And you have to recognize that. Mm. The biggest weapon that you have is the one of love. Mm. Mm. That's okay. Wonderful. Now, do you want me to, I found, <laughs> The other last week, I could not find a beloved brother in color. Do you want to see if I, we can play a little clip of this? I don't even know if you can hear it, then I guess they won't be able to hear it. You want me to test this out real quick? I wish to share that with everybody because that's a message that I heard that came from the cosmos. Okay, so everybody, just bear with me. I'm about to press it. It's a uh, MP4 file, so you may not hear it. Uh, let's see. 
I'm going to open it up now. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Could you hear that, Sri Charles? Yes. Okay, so let me continue playing it. So let me go back to the volume and make sure I turn the volume all the way up. I don't know how that's going to be playing over Zoom. Okay, so here we go. This is Sri Charles, um, um, Blessed Brethren of Color. So let me go ahead and finish playing it. Okay, where is it? Okay, here we go. Blessed Blessed brother on the cover of, of color. Oh, beloved brethren of color, it is a grand, grand opportunity to share with us such a cherished race as you said, such a divine message that had been bestowed on this humble servant. From the beginning of time, you have been a chosen race to exemplify the many qualities and glory of divine God. Over 550,000 years ago, a great divine soul descended upon this planet to put emphasis on the qualities that were bestowed on you by the divine hierarchy. Oh, divine ones, this great soul was referred to as Afra. Afra was the first black ascended master. This great, great soul came to the planet to put forth and instill in our brethren of color and that which we have worked for so many years, that which was missing, that of brotherhood. As this divine soul descended upon the planet, he asked the people of the times to call him one simple name. That name was Brother. All oh, divine ones, all oh, divine souls of the land, please understand your heritage. For you are a cherished, cherished people. As Afro walked the planet over 500,000 years ago, he passed a message to the people of the land and the sense that you were instilled with the divine qualities bestowed upon you by the divine Lord. Those divine qualities are compassion, freedom, justice, will, creativity, power, and love. Because the divine qualities were instilled in you with divine power, no other race of people can exhibit those particular qualities like yourself. Oh, beloved brethren of color, may we start off in a second sentence of power by saying greetings, my brothers and sisters of color. In a time when the world is in turmoil, it is you who can save it. For many millenniums, we have allowed ourselves to get locked into a game created by men. A game that allows him to control those he wishes at will. He has put off before the masses an illusion of deception that has never been equaled. He has sold his brotherhood down the drain for lust, greed, and pride. He has brought his own world to the brink of destruction and continues to do so with his arrogance. He has taken God's most cherished rest of people and have tried to convince them that they are the lowest of all living things. He has taken a rest of people endowed with the divine qualities put forth in them by God. The divine qualities of compassion, freedom, justice, Will, creativity, power, and lust. Okay, so I'm going to stop it right there. And so, because it's it's not that long, it's, I think it's about 12 or 13 minutes long. But everyone, if you would like to hear the entire um, MP4, you can either come by Shanti Atlanta for those um, you know don't feel comfortable. We can social distance, and, and you can hear the whole thing. And I also can send you a copy. Um, 
we tried to play this the last time, but um, I couldn't find the file. So I wanted to make sure you had a chance to hear everything. Um, and we are heading towards the eight o'clock hour, the end of the Agricultural Ladies Show. I want to thank once again, my teacher, Shri Charles uh, Davis, who is joining us from Tuskegee, Alabama, from Shanti Villa Institute and Heal the Atmos Atmosphere Association. And I'm joining you from Shanti Atlanta, which I'm the Atlanta campus of Shanti Villa Institute. And I am the agricultural lady. And I thank you so very much for joining me and Sri Charles today. As always, be blessed. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me um, or call me or PM me or any of that. Thank you so much. And I will see you next Saturday from 7 to 8 p.m. If you are seriously threatened by this coronavirus, I will say this. Do Agni Ultra. <clears throat> Do Agni Ultra. Learn to take ash. Learn to do some breathing properly that will protect you. So be it. Okay, then, and on that note, next week we will go over breathing. Everybody's been asking about when can I do some breathing classes in person, online. I will do a couple of basic breathing exercises on next week's um, Agriculture Lady Live um, here on Facebook and Zoom Q&A. Okay, so everyone, we will talk to you uh, next week and have a blessed evening.